Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a realistic looking mouse movement inside of DaVinci Resolve. Here I have a graphic over here that I designed in Affinity Designer. And this is a simple uh, screen mockup. And then I have a mouse cursor image. I have connected both of these two. And this will give us a merge node. And if you take a look at it, this is the mockup and the mouse cursor. And I have added a transform node to control the size and the position as well. So normally how we animate the mouse cursor is by simply creating a keyframe on X and Y. We create a keyframe at the very first frame of our video. We change the position and then we can move, let's say 30 frames forward and change the position and move it to a different position or different uh, point in our video. If you take a look at the animation, you'll see that it looks pretty linear and a mouse doesn't move like that in real life. It's just going straight to point A to point B. There is no realism in this. Even though we can change the path, uh, so let's just make it more curvy looking path. So something like this, but still there is no realism in this. So what we can do is we can, in the transform, reset the center X and Y, double click on it to reset it. We right click and add in a modifier to this. So let's just make sure that we are at the very first frame, which is frame zero. So let's just right click on center X and Y, modify with, and we will use an X, Y path. So now at the top, you'll see modifiers over here, and it has automatically created a keyframe on X and Y. So now what you have to do is just simply uh, hit play on the keyboard and just uh, start moving your image anywhere that you want. So at the very first frame, I would like to have my image down over here. And I'm going to hit play and I can just move this cursor anywhere in real time. So this will like automatically create a custom path for you. And that's how you will be able to achieve a realistic mouse movement. And you have different controls over here. You can change the entire position of this path. You can change the size. Uh, you can change the angle and all that stuff right over here. Um, so now if you take a look at it, this is how our animation will look. Right, it looks realistic and that's exactly what we want. Uh, you can go ahead and in the settings, if you want to enable motion blur, you can do that as well. And you can see how your animation will look. So yeah, there you go. That's how easy it is to create a realistic looking mouse movement inside of Fusion. I hope this video was helpful. I hope it will help you in your upcoming projects. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.